Austin, Texas. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. Wow. Really cool. <laughs> and what do you do? I'm a psychotherapist and a coach. Aha. Uh -huh. Do we have any psychotherapists here? Like a few, mm -hmm. a few. Great. Two, three. Awesome. Okay. This is a whole new world, combining therapy and coaching. <laughs> Yeah. So why did you come to coaching? Because you are already a psychotherapist. Yeah. Well, first I was, I was stalking you two online for a year <laughs> because I loved seeing <clears throat> two women totally different, having an incredible time, having a lot of fun, being completely authentic and serving the world. And that combination blew my mind. Mm. Thank you. Aww. And I wanted that. <laughs> um, will you share a little bit of why did you, yes, there was that aspect of it, but what was life yeah. like before? So I had, I had finally created my own business and was doing my own thing, and it was OK. And for a while, OK was really exciting, um, just to be OK doing what we do and making it. Um, but after a while, OK wasn't good enough. And I felt really stagnant and kind of bored and not alive. Um, and I wanted to feel alive. And I had a little dream of what it would feel like to make actual good money. Like, what would that feel like? I wanted it. I wanted to feel that feeling. Um, yeah, and so then I came here, and I did what you guys told me to do. <laughs> and um, it completely transformed my life, my business, my relationship, my finances, my everything. How so? Um, how so? Well, I have a business I love. I, I love it so much to the point where, oh, also, I'm an actor. And, um, so, but what started happening is I would get called to go out auditions, auditions from my agent, and every time I got that call, I'd be like, shit, this is interfering, mm. and could, which was a surprise. Um, sorry, that was a rabbit hole. But anyway, um, <laughs> I love my business. I'm totally in love with it, and, um, and it's changed me because I learned how to receive. Mm. <sighs> Holy shit. And... <laughs> And I used to confuse um, a feeling of neediness or taking with receiving until I learned how really very different those things are. You know, needy means you're not receiving. Mm. Mm. Can you say a little bit more about that? Yeah, there, if we let ourselves receive, we're not going to feel needy anymore. Mm. And so, I mean, there's a million things to say, and I know we're trying to boil it down, but I guess what I want to say is this work is so beautiful because you're getting all these things all at the same time, how to transform ourselves to be who we really are and receive really big while we learn skills to give really big and have a really good time doing it. How has it changed your relationship? Um, so, my husband and I, we, do, we also do improv comedy. We perform together, um, and we've been, we helped open this theater 10 years ago. And um, so, just in this past year, um, what happened was, as my ability to receive started being able to sustain itself, if that makes sense, like, at first things started getting good, and I'd freak out, so I'd have to lose a little bit of it because it didn't feel normal to feel so good. And it didn't feel normal to make these kinds of dollars. And then as that started getting to be more comfortable and more normal and I could sustain it, Dave magically also started being able to sustain good for himself too. And I, just, I learned that we, sh you know, we share a consciousness with our partners. And instead of trying to like change them like this, <laughs> which I still like to try to do anyway. <laughs> um, we can change them by changing ourselves. And, and that's what happened to him. And so a year ago, he lost his soul-sucking day job. 
had uh, just celebrated one year of financial success while doing what we love, him too. And he's now, so, oh, and we became owners of this theater. So we co-own this theater with uh, five of our friends. He's the executive producer. He's, he was already a happy guy, but now he's a really happy guy. Um, like that. Yeah. So it's a lot of changes in your relationship certainly witnessed you on that journey. And what about financially? How has this changed you? Yeah. What has changed? I'm just pausing because I'm going to say a sentence that I never thought I was going to say. So even when I start to say it, it feels crazy. Um, which is just that I'm, I'm on track to make $100,000 this year. Woo! But, but it's not just that. It's, it's doing it with so much love and gratitude and fun. And I, my actual work work is like 10 hours a week. My, my client hours are 10 hours a week. I mean, I'm, I obsess over the business and like do stuff. But the actual work work is, is really like 10 hours a week. Woo! Well, yes. Um, something that you told me earlier was that you, before working with us, you weren't tracking your money. <laughs> what, what were you tracking? I was tracking my debt. <laughs> I was really good at tracking my debt, and I, I was proud of that. And then... <laughs> Carrie taught me how to like track my income, <laughs> which has been significantly helping me get out of my debt. And I'm, I'm on track to be out of debt in not that long a time. Thank you. I could probably be sooner, but I also like to have fun. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get there. If there was one turning point that you could share, what, what was one turning point? that made you on track? Because I know a couple years ago you were at like 50K a year and this year reaching 100K. So um, what was the turning point? I think um, for me, I, I mean, I'm just going with what's here right now, but I, I think it was, I had a lot of attention on some stuff in my relationship. And I feel like it was a place where I was at war with something with myself, whatever this like issue was. And... Um, doing the ecology work. I mean, ecology is the key to every single thing we want, just do the ecology. But um, In case you're like, what is ecology? It's a, it's a major foundational concept in the transformational coaching method. So. But I think the turning point for me was learning that there is a positive intention behind everything that we're experiencing. And once I could feel into that, it softened all this war and resistance and stress. Um, it just let everything soften, which amazed me because it wasn't that the thing had to get fixed. It's just softening all that resistance about it. Mm. And I feel like that opened the door. I feel like that was a turning point for me, which I just want to say, I feel all this work, we, like the most important thing is the personal growth work we do that you give us coupled with how to help people. <laughs> but I really believe it's those two things. It's who we become while we're doing it that lets us do it. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Let's Want to hear more true stories from HCI graduates? Click on the ebook below to see more living examples of graduates from all over the world making a great living while making a difference. You'll see where they live, who they work with and how much they typically earn in a given month. Just click on the ebook below right now to see our grads reveal their true stories.